Today I'm going to make some tomato jam and I'm going to try making it in my jam maker and see how that goes. I've got tomatoes from my girlfriend again. She got me off tomatoes and I gave her a jar of um, my strawberry jam, a jar of my applesauce, and a jar of my um, rhubarb candy jam. I didn't have to, but I did. This one's going because I'm going to do, I got applesauce and all. Apples in the crock pot. And this is where I'm going to do my jam. Because you can only do four jams at a time. And I'm going to use my jam maker. And the ingredients are right there. All you need is um, ginger, cumin, cinnamon, and um, some pepper flakes. Which I must have sent on the other side. Lime juice. And then I'm using pectin. Just because I want it to jam up. And sometimes it just won't. Pectin's already in there and then sugar so anyway this is what i'm doing this is what kind of what the recipe looks like but you can't really see it on there but yeah there's my pepper flakes i have so much going on see all that stuff over there and then there's the pepper flakes right there i'm not using very much i don't like a lot of cake okay i will be back okay with the tomatoes i cut them up and as small as I could, and then I'm smashing them. And then what, I want to make sure they're tiny, because you leave the peelings on. I'm cutting it so the peelings and everything are all cut up tiny. What well, doesn't smash very good. It's getting cut up with my scissors. So I'm going to make sure it's super smushed to work in the jammer right. Because it doesn't like, the jammer don't like chunk stuff. So, and this is going to be like, when you make this, Jam. Some people call it cowboy jam, I guess, but cowboy tomato jam. But I'm just calling it tomato jam because I'm doing it in my ball jammer. And I'm cutting up all these little pieces to make sure it works. So, I'll show you again in a second. Okay, I have three tablespoons of the pectin in there. And I have three cups and a fourth a cup of the crushed tomatoes and now I'm going to put in my seasonings I'm supposed to put in um, a, a teaspoon of each one of these and um, a tablespoon of the lime okay I got all the seasoning in and um, it's spinning in circles after it beeps in like four minutes so you know I gotta break up that, that stuff always wants to stick that pectin wants to stick around the edges they don't tell you that in the book but that does so I always have to kind of like feel like I gotta break it up to get it going better so that's what I'm doing right now it's breaking it up and when the beeper goes off in like four minutes then I add sugar All the seasoning around in there. Packed in and drowned. Yeah, because the recipe I seen it, the lady didn't use some um, packed in or anything. And she didn't use a gel. And so hers was kind of runny. So I'm going to try it like this. I'm not saying mine's going to work, but I'm going to give it a shot. Can't hurt anything to try it. And then when it beeps, I'll add the sugar. Yeah, I just put all the sugar in now. I made sure it's all melted down so it looks more liquidy right now. But it's got um, 17 minutes and by that time this should be all thickened up and turned into jam. So we're going to find out if that works in here or not. Here's the test, right? Now it's all ready to go. See? See it going around and around and around. It's going around like that for 17 minutes. Look at it just boiling away. Still got 11 minutes. You can't really tell, can you? This is not showing you. It's like got a glare, but there's 11 minutes on there. All right. There it goes. It smells like cumin. Okay, I'm excited. It worked. It tastes really good. Of course, I don't like mine um, really um, spicy, so I just put in like a quarter of a teaspoon in the whole thing. And yes, so far I got 
this jar, one jar in there. I'm hoping it'll make two more, but I don't think it's going to. I just have to add more tomatoes next time. More sugar and stuff. This time to this one, I'm adding um, the sweet bell peppers. They're really, the banana ones, they're really sweet. So I got some cut up. I got to cut all these up and chop them for the next batch. See, I got one in there right now. And here we go. I'm going to do finish these and I'll let you see what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, there you go. All done. It all gelled up. I guess I say you can try to see tomorrow, but see, look, it's all it's like jelly. It was like jelly when I took it out. It was really super thick. So I got three. It's really four. That one just got a little bit more like an inch headway. There it is. Tomato jam. At the same time, I'm working on my apples. See, so I got apples. And then I have applesauce going right there. Just a boiling. 